is the Taz Show. Yeah, yeah. Talking wrestling, sports, and beyond. So I'm watching the SmackDown last night, right? Okay. Some things in the beginning of the show I want to get into a little bit, but the, the one thing that jumped out to me was about Jinder Mahal, okay, the WWE champion. Okay. First off, I think a lot of people would agree with me. He came off as a big star, which is the right thing to do. The guy has a great look. He looks different than everybody on on, the, on both rosters. His his physique, his size, everything. Uh, his his ethnicity. I think I said that right. Right? Did I nail that? Ethnicity. Ethnic. It's ethnic. Yeah, maybe you're right. Ethnicity. I don't. You don't have a clue, dude. It's ethnicity here, but I don't know if ethnicity. Ethnicity. It's like a three-level word. His ethnic background. Yes. There you go. So uh, he looks different than everybody. And that, and that's not just based on star. Stature, his poise, his it factor, his everything. It's just his presence. On point. On point. Okay. The music, awesome. The, the, the gimmick, the thing, the date on his head, his face, the whole deal. The belt on his waist, wearing it like a champion. Announcers not talking as he walks out. They wait for him to do his spiel at the at the kind of upper end of the ramp, and then then it kicks in, and then he kind of then the announcers start talking. All of those little nuances are vital to pr- present someone as a big star. They did all that, and I'm so happy that he Jinder is the champ because he deserves it, and he should stay the champ. For a long time, guys. Long time. I'm telling you, this guy needs a run. A run run. And you might not like it, but he needs a run. A long He has heat, 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 heat. But, and there's a but. <clears throat> the way they treated him or booked him, I shouldn't say treated, booked him as a wrestler last night was very bad in my professional opinion. Okay, and I don't put it on the talent. I put it on how they want the match done as an overview. Now, see, just to pull back the curtain, a teeny bit for you here, they don't sit there and tell you move for move what they want done in a spot in, in a in a match. Well, unless you're de- debuting against Kurt Angle at Madison Square Garden and you're a former ECW champion, then maybe they will do that. But uh, because they don't trust you and you think you're dangerous. But I digress. So they most of the time don't do that. Okay, that was years ago. I'm obviously being sarcastic, but I'm shooting a little bit. So. They give, they give you an overview of the feel of how they want the psychology of the match. I, I completely disagree with the psychology of the match that, that Jinder had last night with Mojo Raleigh. I completely. This guy here, Jinder Mahal, way, way, way too many bumps. Too many bumps. Right out of the box. You kill his heat. <laughs> You're killing his heat, man. Holy cow. Especially at the top of the match. I'm booking that match completely different. Jinder's coming out. He's going at Mojo, and he is beating Mojo's ass. Right from the beginning of the match, I want, because I want to capitalize on that entrance, that star power, the, the look, what he's saying, the Singh brothers, all that. Then you get in the ring and he just starts getting bounced around like a punk. You kill his heat. You're killing his heat. Wow. I couldn't believe it. 